Hi, this is Greg Shields, and I'm going to spend a minute showing you how you can inventory installed applications across computers on your network. You know, you'd think that this information would be easy to gather. If I open up the control panel and go to the Programs and Features control panel, you can see all the different things that have been installed to this computer. Now, way back in the old days, all of these applications used to store their information here inside the registry. If I take a look at this registry key, Software, Microsoft, Windows, Current Version, Uninstall, this used to be the location where I could find, well, pretty much anything that happened to be installed to my computer. Here's that 7-zip application I referenced in the article, as well as information about its help link and its install source, and also the uninstall key that you can use to simply uninstall the application. Now, the problem is, however, that this is only one of the different applications that's been installed to this computer, and not all of them are actually found here in the uninstall key. A lot of applications these days are storing their information in other locations, such as WMI. I'm going to bring up a tool here called Sim Studio. It's really one of the oldest tools that still actually functions to this day. And you'll see here that I'm taking a look at the Win32 underscore product class inside of WMI. Inside Win32 product, if I take a look at the instances by clicking this button, I can find all the instances inside of Win32 product. And now I can see all those lovely little applications that have been installed to my computer. I think I mentioned in the article that you can gather this information using the command line as well if you don't want to use this tool like uh, Sim Studio. You can do so here in PowerShell using the gwmi or get wmi object command for win32 underscore product. If I run that command, you see it'll bring up all the different installations that have been done to this computer. Now, what I really want, however, is a way to interrogate all the different computers on my network and not just this local one. I don't really want to be going around to all the different computers on my network and running a command and then having to pipe things back into a single location. So let me create a file called computers.txt here, and I'm going to add in the, the two computer names for the two computers on this network, client1 and DC. If I go ahead and save this file, you'll notice that I can use the PowerShell to actually interrogate all of these computers at once. The way that I go about doing that is with the same command, gwmi, win32 underscore product, and this time I'm actually going to look at the different computers around my network. In order to do that, I'm going to actually run get content and have it interrogate that file that I just created, computers.txt. Because I've got this in parentheses, it'll actually run this part of the command first and then return that command back to uh, the gwmi command. I'm going to pipe that into outfile and then send that to inventory.txt. I'll let this run for a second. And what it's going to do is actually interrogate both of the computers on the network and ultimately give me the information that's about their inventory. There's all the stuff that's installed on both those computers. Now this is just a start. Obviously we don't have the names of the computers in here or any of the other surrounding information. It's really not easy for me to import this information into any kind of database, but this gives you a start for how you can, with just the free tools, actually create an inventory solution for all the computers on your network. If you're looking for something that's a little more robust, you might consider a third-party tool that automates this entire process for you.